Howdy folks, this here is the old mountain man talking at you from the back side of this here leg out in the boonies, Arkansas. Well, I had uh, deleted my other channel. Uh, don't ask me why, I just, just did. But I got my ferro rods that I sell here, and I was going to make this... Uh, make this video about them. I've got these large orange handle ferro rods for sale. 15 bucks a piece. And uh, just to give you an idea, I got some ammo here. I got a three and a half inch Magnum goose load. Duck and goose load. And let's see if I can get that up there in front of the camera. Where it uh, show that the length of that shell, boy, well, that is there. It is. There's the three down there toward the bottom. There's the half. There's the I N for inch, and then there's mag. Let me set that brass up there, close to that, right up there on top of that. Uh, all right, yeah, got it right up there. So you can see it's just a tad taller. Oh, it's anywhere from three quarters of an inch to, or half inch to three quarters of an inch taller. I'm not real dang sure, but it's a three and a half inch magnum shell. And then here we got a, uh, you know, that writing's kind of dark on that, but. Let's see, that's a slug, and it's a three-inch magnum slug. You can kind of see that three there, right up from my middle finger. Yeah, three-inch magnum federal slug. And there that is. And here you got a two and three quarter inch field load number six shot and a federal, federal game load yeah and right over here now for the demonstration right over here we got some leaves and got some char cloth yeah let's see if I can get this lid off this can down. This bugger is a mess. Alright, I got a can full of denim char cloth. I tried using a washcloth, 100% cotton washcloth to make char cloth, and it just did not take a spark like denim does. Yeah. So, fair warning there, folks. Yeah, don't be using washcloths for, to make char cloth. That's a sight. All right, get about a, uh, oh, just an average postage stamp size piece of char cloth. About like that. I guess that, yeah, more or less about size. Reach over here and get a big old handful of oak leaves. This average old dry oak leaves. That gun. Yeah. The old bugger crumbled up. Pipe kind of tight. A little bird laying over there. Out of camera shot. Imagine I'll spook him when I push this old water tank over. What are you doing, little bear? Come here, forehead. Come here. You always wanting to be in the in the in the camera shot. You know, what are you doing there? Not hit. That wake you up. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. You gonna help me start a fire? Huh? You gonna help me start a fire? No. Okay. Let's see if I can get this balanced on my knee without it all falling apart. Ah, that gimmick. 
Now, you try to use the factory stamp striker here. You can get that coating off of there where I can get a decent spark. Come on now. Why is this all? There it goes. It always takes a little bit with a with a feral rod to get that caught. that on the tender there. It's been raining here and these leaves are a little damp. I know, I know. Excuses, excuses. Yeah. All right. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. As it is in, in most any situation. If you don't succeed, you know, and you are in a survival situation you have to try again but this is not a survival situation this is a demonstration and it does get more than a bit aggravating whenever stuff like this happens but you know it does happen all righty All right, doggone it. These stock strikers just ain't the greatest in the world. There it is. Point that sucker. That's caught. Now, try number two. There we go. Yeah. That was a yell out of pain and victory. Got a little hot on the old digits.
Got a little toasty on the old digits there. Well, that looks like it's catching pretty good. There we go. There's a good shot of the fire. And two. Less than ten minutes. Well, a little bit less than ten minutes. I'm going to have to scoot this. This booger over that way. Oh, Lord. And let's see here. Where's my smaller size for a run? All right, uh, smaller size or medium size. Now this one here, these come with sort of a little rough edge back here, away from this toothed edge. You don't really want to use that toothed edge too awful much on the, with the smaller size or the larger size because it just uh, just ain't really that great. It'll uh, chew up the ferro rod, it'll bugger it up, it'll wear it away a lot quicker. That it does have this little metal lip back there and what I really would suggest is for folks to take a file and you know make a bevel you know sharpen it down to where it's a, like a knife edge almost uh, with that little rough lip though on the back side of that striker that throws a pretty good spark so uh, now I imagine if you took a hammer to either one of the strikers and set it up on a piece of rock or something like that and give it a good smack or a piece of steel you know I, I say rock because you know I use whatever's at hand well if it's a piece of rock or if it's a piece of steel or or what have you that's what I use and we got the sun arising over here in the east oh yeah I can't really get that camera around there to get a shot of that sunrise but it sure is pretty coming over those treetops oh lord well folks if you'd like to have a bundle of char cloth and a ferro rod or two or three or five or whatever uh, let me know send me a personal message i've got a uh, i've got my contact info and the pricing info in that uh, in that form that I got pre-typed and saved in my computer's documents and uh, now these little ones here they're well let's see here there's that two and three quarter inch field load and here's the three inch magnum slug so it's just a little taller than that ferro rod just a little taller than three inch and just for the heck of it there's the three and a half inch magnum uh, goose load duck and goose load I would not want to fire that shotgun shell I wouldn't complain about the recoil <laughs> but I dang sure wouldn't want to fire it unless I had to uh, at any rate folks yeah I've got uh, I got a brand new shipment in I was uh, gonna quit I was gonna I was gonna quit all this business uh, with YouTube and everything but you know just I don't know I need YouTube to demonstrate my products and I'm gonna be posting this to my Facebook and in case somebody out there on Facebook one of the groups that I'm a member of would like to buy one uh, if you see me out in public I can get them to you for 10 bucks a piece if I got some on me nine times out of ten I got a couple extra with me uh, or you know mail order fifteen dollars that's shipping handling uh, all the the whole schmear nothing extra for the large ferro rods, 750 for the little ones, for the smaller size ones, and uh, I got some card knives, but uh, yeah, 
there we are going on a little over 15 minutes and I got to get this thing uploaded and get it posted we'll talk with y'all folks later and remember as I always said whenever I had my other channel Mountain Man 74177 y'all take care be good to yourselves and be good to each other watch out for those wolves and sheep's clothing out there that'll try to deceive you and stab you in the back and what not you know whatever they do yeah you know, and they come with many different faces we'll talk with y'all later you take care now radio